Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maisie, if you are new. This is the first time I'm filming, like, sat down on my new camera, so that's fun. I am feeling extremely worse for wear. I'm not gonna, I'm sat here with my chocolate milk. This is literally the best stuff in the world. I've literally just put a straw into the thing. I'm wearing, I don't know if you'll be able to, you can't even see. Comfy clothes. I can't cope. Today, as you can see by the title, I am reading through your confessions, which I asked for on my Instagram. So go and follow me on there. I will insert my handle here if you don't already. So I guess there's nothing else to do except dive straight in. I put on my story. I often put things on my story about my YouTube, so definitely follow me on there. I'm also probably really annoying to people who don't follow me. I mean, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, I'm so hungover. I literally got so drunk last night. So I asked on my story to give me confessions, anything from work, dates, friends, things like that. Most of them are all dates, to be honest. So this is kind of turned into, I guess, like disastrous dates. I feel like I'm gonna be really expressionist and this is a really bad day to film this video because I want it to be fun, but I've got no energy. Like, I probably shouldn't even be filming this today, but I'm just gonna go in anyway. So let's, let's chat. First person said that she got locked in a one night stand's toilet. He forgot about her and she was freezing and naked all night. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. That sounds really, really fucking unfortunate. That's quite funny. I like that one. Someone said that she was pissed off with her boyfriend. So when he got in the shower, she turned the hot tap on in the kitchen. So he had to have a cold shower. I really like that. I think, you know, work smart, not hard. Do subtle things to let them know that you're pissed off. I, I, I rate that one. I would do the exact same. Someone said... <laughs> I got super liked on Tinder by the boy I was seeing stepbrother. Nice. I wonder if he knew about you, like if that was done on purpose or if that was like completely, what's the word? I, I can't talk today. If that was like completely coincidental. Okay, this one's funny. This is actually my friend. This is my favorite story ever. <sighs> I went on a first date once and fell in a swamp. I jumped over these stepping stones and sunk into the mud. All of this dirty water, my whole face and body was covered in mud and I had to get changed in the portaloo of a car park and put the clothes he was wearing on. See, as I said, that is my friend. I do know that story. I specifically asked her to, you know, summarise that for me so I could share it with you because I just think it's fucking hilarious. I'm not going to tell you which friend it is because she probably won't want me to but that was actually also on a first date which makes it all better and as you can probably imagine it didn't go much further also not that he would obviously but if the person who the date went on saw this that would be funny because i wonder what he thought because i remember they saw each other maybe a couple times after but then nothing else but i wonder if he was like found it funny or if he was like what the fuck funny flatmate told me her dad was an ira and that if any of us hurt her he'd kill us <laughs> I love that. Not many people. I think that's the only person who said anything about uni. But I feel like uni stories are really funny. Like the things that happen in flats. I don't know if I have any. I didn't live in halls for very long. I got out of it because I just couldn't stand to be there. I don't think anything like weird happened to me. But some of the stories are absolutely hilarious. I'm feeling really sensitive and gentle today. Okay, this is my favourite one. I've already seen it and I just think, wow. I left my ex for his brother. That was it. What I would like to say to that is, how does family parties go? Events, dinners, you know, Mother's Day, it's Mother's Day today. How does your Mother's Day, you know, at least you've got the same mother in law, at least you know what she likes, but it's quite easy to buy gifts. Are you still with said brother? These are questions I'd like to ask. How does the other brother feel? Did they fall out or was it just, like, were you with the first one very long? How did that happen? Did he move to you whilst you were with the brother? Like, did you specifically leave the brother for the other brother or did you break up, then get with the brother? You know, like who made the first move? I have so many questions about that. It's quite funny. My housemate brought a random back. He shat all over the bathroom floor. So I nicked 30 pound out of his wallet. He left in the kitchen before I went to work. <laughs> I didn't read that before now. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, to shit all over the bathroom floor, he should have given you more than, well, you stole it. But I feel like more than 30 pound was probably owed for that. That's an awful story. Who cleaned that up? Hey dude, what are you talking about? People's confessions. What's on the confession list? Someone brought, uh, someone's housemate brought a random back. He shit on the bathroom floor, so she stole thirty pound out of his wallet. Rightly so, I'd say. Someone else said she left her ex for her brother, his brother. Oh shiznits. Interesting one. I was just saying about the brother one. Like, was there an overlap? Like, how, who moved, made the first move? How does that? And how does that come about? That's what I thought. Was it? Did you like actually break up then just get with the brother, or did yeah. you? Yeah. And like. You must have been looking at the brother when you were with the other brother. Exactly. Holy shizzle. Yeah. Oh, this is too much for me. 
Laters. <laughs> okay, worst date ever. Got catfished so hard, it was like a completely different person. He smelt with BO and I felt rude if I went home. So I had to spend like four hours with him and then never spoke to him again afterwards. Oh, that's really awful. I feel really sorry for you, but I also feel really sorry for him. But like, did you just never talk to him again? Or did you discuss it? You know, like, did you say, did you address, not address that he smelt or anything like that. But did you say, like, did you say, oh, you know, I don't think like, we're a match kind of thing you know how does that go about so many questions this girl said she was so desperate for a wee on a holiday and was in the queue steaming and in the queue wet herself which that is a horrible thing to go through but oh, i've just remembered something funny so when i was little we were at like a theme park it wasn't a theme park it was like i feel like it might have been west midland safari park like at the end because it was like a they had, do they have like rides at the end? I'm sure they have, I don't know. I was somewhere, it wasn't a full on theme park. It was somewhere like Twin Lakes, that kind of thing. And my brother, we were in the queue for a ride. My granddad took us, me and my brother. And we were both little and my granddad had gone to get a coffee or something. And we were in the queue for this ride and my brother said to me, oh, I really, really need a wee. And I was like, oh, like we're in the queue for a ride. Just wait and we'll go after. And then <laughs> he was really young. And then he like tapped me and I was like, what? I was like, I said, wait. And he was like, I'm weeing. And then I looked at the floor. <laughs> like his shoe and the like his weird trickled the whole way down his leg and it was coming out like over his shoe like he had like timberlands on it was like coming out over his timberland he was like i'm sweet now <laughs> like it wasn't like he was like oh my god i'm weird he was like i'm just doing it now <laughs> that was funny also gross i have also nearly wet myself a lot of times disastrous date when on a date her date was travel sick in the uber or no from the uber and was sick four times in the restaurant and didn't eat anything oh my god i would hate that i wonder if it was like a, one of the first dates or if you were actually like kind of with them because like if i was doing that like with my boyfriend obviously i'd be like oh a bit annoyed but you know let's just go home but if that was like a first date that's so awkward and the poor boy he must have felt awful this guy i was seeing booked a hotel for a weekend away and i texted him like an hour before saying sorry i have a family thing and then saw him in waikiki that's a bar uh, i can't talk a club in leicester and then i saw him in waikiki with another guy he took me back as well <laughs> tried to make me send him money for it <laughs> that's quite funny tried to make me send him money for it that's rude but funny, you must not have been that into him, is all I can say. And try to make me send him money for it. I feel like maybe you probably should have. On my birthday once, I went for a meal with a guy and he made me pay because I got money for my birthday. And then when we went on a night out, I had to pay for everything. That's awful. <laughs> no, that's so bad. Someone said I stole a lawnmower from B&Q. How do you do that? The B&Q I go to as well. I feel like you have to go through the tills to get out. How did you manage that? Being caught by your boyfriend's dad and him telling, and him saying, tell dot 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 to keep it down. That's honestly my worst nightmare. That's really, really, really embarrassing. Embarrassing. I hate that. Went back to sleep with this lad and I didn't know his name and he didn't know mine either. And it wasn't until I was back at his that we both realised. <laughs> that's really funny because at what like i guess if you're talking to someone in a bar like if you're just chatting and getting along like do you go oh what's your name because i think you'd probably assume like you're not gonna see them ever again but then obviously if you end she ended up going back to his so at what point would you be like oh by the way what's your name <laughs> that's funny because i feel like that'd be in my head like fuck i like what's his name and then I'd be too scared to go, what's your name? I guess if you had drinks though, you probably wouldn't. Oh, and she also found out that he had a girlfriend afterwards, so that was really good. Probably best you didn't know his name. I got with a boy in my second year of uni and he literally refused to leave my house the next morning because he couldn't be asked to get up. That's funny and sounds like the worst. Someone you don't know in your space. And I feel like when you've been gone out the night before, you wake up and you're feeling rough. Like the last thing you want is a stranger in your face. Like you just want to be left alone. And me and this group went to a festival and this guy I was seeing at the time brought one of those Rastafarian hats with fake black dreads while we were there and ended up wearing it for about half of the festival. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I like that. That is embarrassing though. First date when we went, first date we went to Nando's and I was eating chips with my hands and he said, are you not going to use a knife and fork? 
I like that. I rate the honesty if it was a first date and I feel like I do eat chips with my hands though. Especially in Nando's. I feel like I'm, I I always like starting it with my hands and then I'm, it. although if I had Perry salt chips then I'll probably wouldn't have used my hands because it's quite messy. Funny, he's obviously a bit of a clean freak I guess. To be honest, I could keep going but I feel awful and I want to go and drink my chocolate milk and wallow in self-pity. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's video, that was my cousin. If you enjoyed, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it and I'll see you next week. Bye.